Hello and welcome to my channel. Hi guys, my name is Umpile. Thank you, thank you so much for joining me on my channel and for sticking around while I was taking a break. But anyway, I'm here, I'm back. And today I just wanna do a short, very, very short video and show you books that I got from a secondhand bookstore called Bellissimo Books. Uh, I will link up the 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 Instagram page and um, yeah I think it's just only the Instagram page because that's where I got the books from. Um, I got three books that I've always wanted. I think maybe uh, I'll give you a guys. Please forgive me, but my kids are here, so they will be singing in the background and they will be screaming in the background. But you will always hear me mainly. But yeah. So the first book that I got from um, Bellissimo, I actually found them by luck, luck on Instagram because I try to follow uh, secondhand bookstores that I can source books from. And when I saw them having a book drop, I actually made a notification for when they do do the book drop. So I found this book. This is the first one. So this is my little stack. I found this book. Uh, say you're one of them by i don't want to butcher the name Uwem akban and i've always wanted this book because i saw it years ago on oprah's book club and i made a note i still have like lists of books that i still want to have and books that i want to read even from years ago so i got this book from um from bellissimo as well the, the actual name is Bellissimo Bella Books. Bellissimo Bella Books. And there's an underscore in between all three words. Bellissimo underscore Bella underscore Books on Instagram. And I will read the back of this book for you guys. I see dirty water dripping down the white wall beside me. It is coming from the ceiling. At first, it comes down in two thin lines. Then the lines widen and swell into one. Then two more lines come down in spurts, like little spiders gliding down on threads from a branch of the mango tree in our yard. I touch the liquid with the tip of my finger. Blood. Ghost, ghost, I scream, diving toward Papa. Save, say you're one of them is an extraordinary debut about children fighting for survival throughout the African continent. A family live in a makeshift shanty in urban Kenya. A Rwandan girl witnesses unspeakable acts. A brother and sister cope with their uncle's attempt to sell them into slavery in Gabon. And a Muslim boy takes a terrifying ride through Nigeria. Everywhere Uwem Akban reveals the wisdom and resilience of Africa's children. And uh, the Sunday Times said about, um, say you're one of them, this time the ba Balihu is real. Akban is an important writer. The writing is clear and superbly controlled and without a trace of mawkishness by the Times. And um, author of Mukiwa, Peter Godwin, says gives voice to Africa's children in beautifully crafted prose and stunning detail. Um, this is the cover. And it was actually long listed for the Guardian First Book Award in 20, 2008, sorry. And yeah, and the, Gu the Guardian says, Akban reveals Africa's pain, pity, joy, and grace and comes closer to the truth about modern Africa than the entire outpourings of the Western mass media. And there's a lot of praise for this book. And I got this in March. So actually, I bought them in uh, February or so. Um, but yeah, I got them in March. I actually want to read the author's bio. This was actually published in, let me see, in 2008. And I got got it years later. I mean, I've always wanted this book. Always, always, always. 
Um, let me see. Uwem Akpan was born in Ikot Akpan Eda in southern Nigeria. After studying philosophy and English at Grayton or Creighton and Gonzaga universities, he studied theology for three years at the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. He was ordained as a Jesuit priest in 2003 and received his MFA in creative writing from the University of Michigan in 2006. My Parents' Bedroom was shortlisted for the Cannes Prize for African Writing. In 2008, he completed a teaching assignment at a seminary in Harare, Zimbabwe, and is now at a parish in Lagos, Nigeria. So, yeah. I finally got the book, and um, I'm looking forward to reading it. Like, I love, I said, backlist books, backlist books, yes. Um, so this is the first book that I got from Bellissimo Bella Books and the second one because I want to grow my uh, Zex Mda collection this is my third yes, it's my third book by Dr. Zex because I have the whale collar and the first one that I bought years ago at a second in bookstore as well was um, the Madonna of Excelsior, uh, and I haven't read it, so I need to to not collect and read the books. But yeah, I'm gonna read the back of this book. This is the cover. I love the cover because it actually looks similar to the Madonna of Excelsior's cover. They almost look the same. But yeah. Doloki is an eccentric and dignified professional mourner. Ways of Dying tells of his odyssey from a rural community to the shabby, vibrant outskirts of a contemporary South African city where the beautiful and tragic Noria helps him to heal the past. By turns, magical, brutal and funny, this compelling work has made a major contribution to South African writing. And the Sunday Independent said uh, about this book, it's a magic realist text of great beauty, humor, and pathos. And Mail and Guardian said it's a moving and start, startlingly um, original novel. And the Sowetan said it's, it resonates with wicked vig vignettes and the amorously absurd friction between men and women in love. Uh, praise for... Uh, Heart of Redness, winner of the Commonwealth Prize for Fiction Africa and the South Sunday Times Fiction Award in 2001 was that it was brilliant and it was a majestical book with a very powerful theme using an astonishing histor historical episode. Mda is a modern writer with an intense confidence to handle very deep themes of African experience. Um, this is praise for one of uh, Dr. Mda's uh, books as well, The Heart of Redness, which I still have to, to get as well. And um, Ways of Dying is actually winner of the Mnet Book Prize winner, um, Olive Schreiner Prize as well. So, yeah, it actually, one thing that I want to note about the books that I got, they're still really fairly new, they're still in good condition, and these are pre loved books. So, yeah, um, maybe check out, really check out Bellissimo Bella underscore books. Bellissimo underscore Bella underscore books. And the last book that I got from them is Dark Continent, My Black Ars by Sitle Kumalo. I got this book because I'm trying to get into travel memoirs as well. Because the only travel memoir that I've read is Lerato Mohwate's Vagabond wandering through Africa on faith. Uh, so I'm going to read the back of the book. This was published by Umozi, which is an imprint of Penguin Books. Um, and this is also still good, good looking. Um, yeah, this is the cover. And Dark Continent, My Black Eyes by Bas Boxy Matola from Cape to Cairo. This is just the book we have been thirsting for. And this is 
what Dr. Zakes said about the book. This is just the book we have been thirsting for. Travel writing by an African adventurer who explores and tries to explain his own continent. The author takes you with him on this exciting journey through lucid prose and imp in, in, impish humor. Often, he dispenses with political correctness and becomes refreshingly irre irreverent. Once I started reading, it became very difficult to put it down. And um, oh, so at, actually, at the back of the book, because of the travel memoir, and it says from Cape to Cairo, um, at the back of the book is just praise about the book um, from different people who read the book. So that was um, Dr. Zeke's uh, take on what what is it, what he thought of the book. And there's a bio of um, the author. Sita Kumalo was born in rural KwaZulu-Natal and grew up in Peter Maritzburg, an alumnus of Natal Technicon and Avets Business School. He worked in Durban and briefly in Richard's Bay before joining Anglo-American Exploration Division. And um, let me see. Let me see. Okay, so let me see how many chapters there are. The rest of Africa is calling. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's 10 chapters in the book. And it opens up with the rest of Africa is calling. And um, it's got 217 pages of, of, of stories. So I'm looking forward to reading this. Yeah. Um, so that is my little book haul from Bellissimo, Bellissimo underscore, Bellissimo underscore Bella underscore books. And they are in Durban, but they ship nationwide. Um, I will actually link up everything on the description below. And that is it, guys. I hope you have enjoyed my little book haul with me. Um, please let me know in the comments below what travel memo memoirs have you read or that you are looking forward to reading? I have read, um, like I said, I've only read Vagabond by Lerato Mokwatle. And I actually have a review of it on the website. Um, I'll also link up all my social media profiles and the website on the description below. But thank you guys for joining me and thank you for sticking around. Please remember to like the video and share and comment and encourage your friends and followers to also do the same. Thank you guys. Bye.